Mr. Meat Tech out here, and today we are going to be looking at macOS 12 Monterey, and this is beta 10, just released today on October 13th. Um, and this is probably going to be one of our last few releases before we see the um, the release preview um, before the public release. Um, we have the Apple event next week on Tuesday, I believe it is, on the 18th. Um, so I'm assuming we're going to see the announcement for the actual public release of macOS Monterey then, um, and it'll probably come out a few days later. Um, so we'll probably get like the um, the release candidate build maybe that day, um, and then probably the public release Friday, if I had to guess. Um, that's how it's been similarly with iOS um, builds. Once the iPhone is announced, they announce you know iOS 15, and then a few days later, it actually releases to the public um, if there's no major issues with the release candidate. Um, now, in the last video, um, we looked at the release notes, and that's pretty much the same here. We have our same display uh, issues with waking up a dual monitor setup, um, something about the power connection. Um, it says to use the power adapter that came with the Mac for a workaround. Um, so we basically have our same bugs and known issues here with focus and iCloud and all that kind of stuff. Um, not much of that changed from um, beta 9. One thing that we do have that is back in settings that we have not seen in quite a long time is going to be our settings for universal control. Um, that has been added back in settings. It has a beta tag on it. Um, so I think it's likely that we'll, we will see this um, come out with the release of macOS to the public. Um, but this particular setting is still going to be labeled as a beta. Um, there's probably still a few things to work out. Um, now, unfortunately, in beta 10, it is still not working. Um, the settings are back. They weren't there before, but I still can't enable it. Um, this can't be turned on without this on, and if I click it right here, it doesn't do anything. Um, the box kind of just highlights, but it doesn't actually check it. Um, so it looks like we still don't have it. Um, so maybe we'll get one more beta, or maybe this will be enabled in the release preview, the release candidate, when it comes out, and then we'll see it hopefully in the public release. Um, I just checked on uh, beta 4 for... Um, iOS 15.1. There used to be a setting under the handoff section that would pop up if you toggled handoff on and off. Um, for universal control, we haven't seen that in a while either. Um, that still didn't come back, so I don't know if they've just removed the setting for it um, and it's not going to be there, or if iOS 15 doesn't have it enabled yet either. Um, so we'll have to see about that. Maybe it's something that's going to come out in 15.1 um, if they didn't add it with the 15 release. Um, but like I said, the setting is back. Um, it's under the display preferences um, right here. So hopefully we'll see that. That's really all that I've seen that's changed so far. Um, so like I said, we'll probably see the release candidate next week um, with a uh, public release here in the next week or so as well. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. If you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comments section below.